What it do, man? It's your boy Battle Truth coming to you live and direct from the Battle Truth headquarters. Let's get right off into this, man. Same like the battle rap community is disappointed in Charlie Clips in his QB battle. Even to the point that they talking about counseling the brother, man. Like the brother committed a crime. Like the brother raped somebody or molested somebody, man. Like really because he had a bad showing and you didn't like what he did you want to counsel the brother and just rule out everything the brother did and bought the battle come y'all get too carried away with the stuff man and maybe it's just because of content and just having something to say because you didn't ran out of things to say but we can't just first of all it ain't gonna happen so it, that's just a loss of words to be saying that no matter how you feel, how you think about him, this dude stamped in battle rap. He definitely a legend, definitely a Hall of Famer. And a lot of people got him on they Mount Rushmore. Not including uh, 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 the man on Wild and Out as a regular. Okay? So have his presence alone in battle rap surpasses 90% of the people in battle rap. We not going to play these games. And we ain't going to act like the man ain't been smoking and killing stuff even still. If you get Charlie Clips 10 battles, even right now, he's going to win seven of them. Okay? He's going to win seven of them. You give Charlie Clips 10 battles, right now he's going to win seven of them. We tend to forget the things that man been doing. Some of his battles this year have been fire. But again, that's how battle rap is, man. You could you could have a bad game and people throw out throw out the window everything you done done. Like, like man, what about everything I did? <laughs> I, I could see if the man was continually doing this. But even still, though, you still have to be accountable, have some type of accountability clips. Don't take battles that don't motivate you. Because at the same time, you have to understand you got a fan base that you got a fan base and a group of people that love you, that support you, that actually want to see you do good. You know what I'm saying? So be fair to your supporters. Be fair to yourself. Be fair to the lead. Be fair to your opponent to make the battle a classic battle. That ain't that ain't right all around. And you do deserve some backlash for actually not handling your responsibility, man, and giving your all by what you were paid to do based upon what you agreed to on that money. That ain't right, though, man. You don't you don't want that, man. That's unfair to your people. And most of all, it's unfair to yourself. Remember, you 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 play yourself. Like when you watching those battles, you sitting there knowing. You didn't take this battle serious, which means you cheated your fans, which means you you was unfair to the lead that paid you, and you was you wasn't fair to your opponent. So yeah, you need some accountability. That ain't good, bro. No matter how much work you put in the culture, no matter how much you stamped in the culture, that don't give you a license to sabotage battles and not do your best man and just come with anything just because you can get away with it that's not right bro and you shouldn't be doing things like that like hold on a second man wait where my damn gavel at here take it take it bang the gavel on your damn self don't worry i'll do it for you no no, 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 man, get out of here with that trash, man. You all, yeah, that ain't cool, that ain't cool at all, bro. Crazy about it, I didn't even know you had a rooftop battle. I heard Cap saying, uh, to some nature, like, you know, if you ain't gonna be coming with it, then just stop rapping, which, which is true. If you lost your heart, passion desire to rap don't rap don't take the battle if it don't move you it don't motivate you don't do it don't do it don't take nothing you ain't committed and dedicated to do to go in 
And like I said, and if you're going to take that route, at least still be smart about how you do it. Like, if you don't feel like rapping, you know DNA, you guy. If you don't feel like rapping, you don't feel like writing, but people want to give you checks, man, let DNA do what he do. It ain't like y'all ain't never wrote together. I'll be like, look, man, I ain't going to have time to write this stuff. I'm busy. I'm on the road. Or I just don't feel like it. So he go a couple thousand, you know what I'm saying? Could you go and write this for me and just my everybody else doing it? <laughs> Keeping it real. Don't nobody have to know about it. Me personally, I don't care. I just don't want to know about it. I don't care who writing because I know this entertainment. I just don't want to know about it. I don't care if none of them have a ghost writer. I just don't want to know about it. You know what I'm saying? Just keep it, keep it under wraps. I don't care. And I'm not trying to look into it to see if you got a ghost writer. I just be wanting to be entertained. Okay. Long as I'm entertained, I don't care about none of that or none of the particulars. I don't care about what's in your pocket and I don't care about who writing for you. So no, I don't care about that at all. I really, really don't. You know, and as a result of that, I'm just, I'm just one of those real ones like that. That's the type of dude I am. You know, like I said, I don't get these brothers, man. I look, this is this is a money game. It's a lot of money to be made in this community. It's a lot of people willing and want to give you some. I'm gonna make sure I stay relevant. I'm gonna make sure I'm buzzing. Okay, if I'm a battle rapper, I'm gonna make sure of that. If my bars ain't good enough to keep me relevant, but I still can get a check off my name, oh, yeah, I'm going to reach out to the people that actually got that fire. It's like the dope game. It's like the dope game. I got a trap house, but it ain't moving. Okay, well, I'm going to go where I can get a better product, and I'm going to make sure it's moving so that I can get that paper. And even if I can write, just like Surf, Surf can write. But when people, you know, when it came out, Adi Boone was writing for him, people didn't want to believe that. It come to find out it was true because Adi Boone confirmed it. But Surf knew how to write. Nobody really cared, though, still. They still didn't care. As long as he know how to perform it well and do good, nobody cares. Nobody cares that Neo write for Beyonce. I don't care. I don't want to hear Neo singing it, though. I don't want to hear Neo singing, you must not know about me, you must not know about me. He tried to do that, too, to let people know he wrote the song. Boy, move to the left, to the left, Neo. I don't care you wrote the song. I want to hear Beyonce singing. Hell, that stuff don't mean nothing to me. But that's, what, but that's the type of guy I am. If I can't give you my best, I'm still going to make sure I give you my best. I'm still going to make sure I give you my best. If I can't perform right on a level by which I can continue to be good to the point that y'all like being entertained, I'm going to make sure I surround myself around brothers who can keep that, that fire uh, burning in me. I'm just going to keep it 100. And that's the same thing with you, Clips. If you get in these battles because you don't want to pass up the money, but you ain't motivated to write – then let DNA write it. We just don't need to know about it. Let DNA write it and you perform it. The DNA got a fire pen. You know him so well, you know exactly how to perform what he write. I don't care. I just don't want to know about it. And it's better than you going through your phone. It's better than you not remembering your rounds. It's better than you trying to freestyle through a whole round. So as long as I'm entertained, I don't care. I don't care. I don't look at battle rap being that personal to me like that. It is what it is. You rap. I like it. I don't like it. No big deal. I lose no sleep. Whether you good or whether you bad, I lose no sleep. But I'm just telling you how the game go if you just want to be fair and just keeping it real. Nobody cares. So for the most part, people already believe you and DNA write together. I mean, <laughs> y'all actually do write together. So I don't see what the big deal. Again, it's better than what you did do. If you ain't going to be able to come with it all the way, man, let dude do it. And you just perform it. Simple as that. 
But as far as like canceling the brother out and saying he done, don't know about that's a lie. That no matter what you say, that, that ain't gonna stop. He got a fan base in himself here. He bigger than any blogger here. Okay. He bigger than any blogger, battle rapper here for the most part. He got his own fan base, so nothing we say gonna stop people from watching him. That that's still one of the favorite dudes in them big venues. When he hit the stage, they want to hear what he got to say, okay? And that man can go from zero to 100 with the snap of a finger like it's nothing. He have done that many times. That brother, I would say that now, he he definitely got the magic touch when it comes to performing in venues. You say Charlie Cliff name, he at that stage, people going to go crazy for him. That's what he do. Plus, he a mega, he a mega battle rap superstar. Like, it's only probably a good four battle rappers that's bigger than him. Probably four that's bigger than him. I'm just keeping it 100. And with that being said, it's your boy Battle Truth. It ain't my job unless the question is yours. But clips, come on, man. Stop, stop giving up this half product, man. Stop giving up this half product. You see people getting to the point where they're trying to write you off. Bustin' no streets for you Leave me waiting on you Bustin' no streets for you